Yo, yo, welcome back to My Smarty Muscles. Now, for the last two months, I've been experimenting with stomach vacuums. And from doing two months of stomach vacuums, I've really learned to control my abs more. And in the video that I'll show you soon, you'll see that I can really lift my abs up under my rib cage quite a bit now. So as you can see on the left, we have the start of the two months and also my one month stomach vacuum video. And then on the right, we have my two month stomach vacuum video. And as you can see in the two month one, I can really control my abs and lift them up under my rib cage far more than I could at the start. Now from doing stomach vacuums for the last two months, I've been able to hold my breath for longer as the time has progressed. But over the last month, I haven't really been doing them too consistently. So I've been doing a few in the morning and then a few at night. Uh, and I've been doing variations of standing and also lying on the ground and on my hands and knees. But I haven't really been tracking how long I'm holding it for and how many reps I'm doing. So for this next month, I'm going to focus not on reps or sets, but I'm going to focus on holding the stomach vacuum for four minutes every day. So this should make it much easier to progress rather than just focusing on sets and reps. And as the month progresses, I might increase from four minutes of daily total hold time to five minutes, but I'll let you know in the three month stomach vacuum video. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my three month stomach vacuum transformation coming out in the next month and also give this video a massive thumbs up. I'll see you next time.